Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at a different type of pocket operation. This pocket operation is specifically designed to machine pockets that are circular. So what we'll do is we'll use this uh, circular pocket right here for this demonstration. We're going to head back over to the main toolbar and select our stock tool pass. But now instead of HS pocketing like we selected previously, we're going to go with clean circle. Once we do this, our cursor changes to a little square, so it's looking for uh, circular shapes. I'm just going to left hand mouse click that. When we're done, we'll right hand mouse click. And again, we get the same uh, select tool dialog box. This works exactly like all the other previous machining operations in that you can pick a tool from the library or you can define a tool. Let's see, for a diameter on this, why don't we go with, uh, why don't we go with 12? That looks good. And we're going to say this is going to be in turret position number two. I'm not too worried about speeds and feeds right now, so I'll just type in anything. Let's go with 2300 on that. I'll select my coolant. And then for our feed rate, why don't we go with, uh, how about again, we'll go with 0.25. All this looks good, so we'll click next. Again, the exact same type of dialog box. You've got your clearances. The rapid move, that's where the tool is going to rapid. Uh, if we had selected multiple circles, this is the rapid approach for each one of those circles. The plunge clearance is where it's going to start to feed down. I'm probably going to change this to 10 and make this something like three the top of the material this is really important now remember we've already machined these three pockets out in fact we machine these each to minus 15 millimeters so the material top we want to put in minus 15 because these pockets are minus 15 millimeters deep if I leave this set to zero one CNC is going to think that there's material all the way up at the top of at Z0 and it's going to feed all the way there down. All right. So that's why it's important that for this example, for material top, we put in minus 15 because that's the depth of the pocket. And then the final Z, I'm going to put in minus 25 for that. And then we'll click next. Okay, now this is how we can approach the pocket, how we enter inside. You can plunge, you can helical, which I'm going to use, or you can also perform a zigzag. I'm going to go with helical, and I already have my ramp angle set to 10. You can conventional cut or climb cut. We're going to climb cut this. Here's your step over. This works exactly like the previous video when we demonstrated the HS pocketing. I'm going to change this to 65%. This is your step over in X and Y. Uh, for rough depths on this, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Why don't I put in three for that? And leave on sides. I'm going to leave how about 0.25. That looks fine. We'll click next. Now in our last video when we were demonstrating the HS pocketing we didn't use this. This finish settings, this is if you want to apply an extra finish pass after the, the initial roughing of the pockets done. This uses the exact same tool that you have. And what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to tell one CNC to make a finish pass at the very bottom of the pocket. All right, and you have other choices. You could make a finish pass at each depth of cut, or you could come up with a custom depth. But I'm going to say just make a finish pass at the bottom. And what that's going to do is it's going to remove this 0.25 millimeter uh, when it makes its finish pass. You've got compensation here if you want to. You've got your wear away and wear closer if you'd like to use cut or comp uh, G41 and G42. I'm just going to leave this set to automatic. If you want, you can change the feed rates if you'd like. You can kick the feed and speeds up if you want. But I'm going to uncheck that and just use the same speeds and feeds. So we'll click Finish. And there we go. There's our, our circular pocket operation. And if we turn our solid model back on, that looks good. Why don't we just preview just that pocket operation. So we'll right-hand mouse click. We'll go to Preview Toolpaths. And there you go. You can see that we're, we're feeding. Uh, we're starting the feed just right above the floor of the pocket and machining all the way down through the part. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.